We're back with James Clapper, the former director of national intelligence, whose new book, Facts and Fears, is out as of right now. Uh, director Clapper, I said I would ask you one thing. I lied. It's two. Uh, the first one is, um, you say in uh, September 2016, you say by September 2016, we knew that Putin was personally involved in the Russian attack. Uh, can you tell us anything about how you came to that, con how you came to that conclusion? I really can't. Uh, okay. uh, this gets into... Uh you know, pretty sensitive sources and methods, but uh, we had, I thought, very, very solid evidence of that. So, and, with uh, two months before the election? Yeah. Um, you also, I played a clip uh, just before you sat down where you, Dianne Feinstein asked you in a Senate hearing, open Senate hearing, mm -hmm. about multiple European allies reporting to the U.S. intelligence community about contacts between the Trump campaign and Russia. And you confirmed to Senator Feinstein that that happened, but then said the details are quite sensitive. Is there anything that's been publicly reported since then that would allow you to elaborate? No. No. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I have to ask, though. All right, here's something that I know you can talk about because you wrote about it. Um, you describe a phone call that you made to President Trump after he had publicly derided the U.S. intelligence community right. as Nazis. Uh, uh, you, you said, I thanked him for taking the call, and I said he'd gotten my attention when he'd referred to the intelligence community as Nazis. I explained to him I wanted to defend the men and women of the intelligence community. I tried to appeal to his higher instincts. Uh, he thanked me. He said he valued the intelligence community and the intelligence he'd been receiving. He then asked if I would put out a statement refuting what was in the Steele dossier. The request felt very transactional, that he would play nice if I would do him a favor. I declined, saying that I couldn't refute or affirm what was in the dossier. He sounded disappointed. The president was essentially making you an offer that he would make uh, palliative statements about the... the well, I I, I see. I don't know. I mean, that that's probably the, the implication. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it, it just it, that part of the conversation felt transactional to me. Uh, I mean, that seemed to be his focus was was uh, the dossier. And I, I might say, with, with respect to the dossier, a very important point to make is we did not use that as a, as a source for our intelligence community assessment. So it was based on on, on traditional uh, intelligence sources. Our whole point, though, in briefing uh, the pre then President elect Trump about it was I felt strongly, and I think we all did, that we owed it to him to warn him that it was out there mm -hmm. without respect to the content. And uh, Jim Comey was particularly concerned from a counterintelligence standpoint because the Russians w will use compromise, whether it's real or contrived, in, in, uh, if they can, to exert leverage. And uh, Jim felt we should at least warn him about that, and that was the whole point, not, not to ascribe ver veracity, confirm or deny or rebut any of uh, what was in the dossier. That said, some of it what we did corroborate in the ICA, and of course it appears that more of it has been corroborated at, in, in, with ensuing de uh, developments and what we've learned. Is there anything in the dossier that has been disproven? No, uh, some of it hasn't been proven. Uh, and some of it hasn't been, no, I guess uh, the, answer, the short answer to the question. The, the salacious stuff, absolutely no corroboration of that to my knowledge. Jim Clapper, uh, former director of national intelligence, thank you for um, serving the country in so many different capacities for so many years. You've been involved in a gazillion different controversies, um, but you're writing this book as itself a service because it gives us a window into what you did and what you lived through. Uh, and also, it is a real create occur um, in terms of how you feel about what's going on right now and what happened in the election. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Rachel. All right, much more ahead tonight, uh, including the results of some big primary elections that have been coming in while we have been on the air. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.